Hi, I'm Rayburn Johnson for Sample Library Review, and today I'm checking out Novum by Dawson. Novum is one of the most creative and unique soft synth plugins I've ever seen. The sound design capabilities of this plugin are infinite. However, it's uniquely accessible for novice sound designers while remaining uncompromisingly deep for the most seasoned pros. Novum is available in both VST3 and AU formats and uses deep granular synthesis to deconstruct single samples into six distinct layers. It comes with full MPE support and many modulation and sound shaping controls. It includes 300 factory presets and supports drag and drop sample import. Novum is available from Traction for $179. So today we're checking out Novum by Dawson, and I have to say, this is one of the most creative soft synth plugins I have ever encountered. This is one of the coolest, <laughs> not just soft synth plugins, this is one of the coolest plugins I've seen in a very long time. You can see the interface is just so artistic and so cool, but it's super intuitive and the controls in this thing are just insane. The modulation options, are just vast, but what's so cool about this plugin and something I love about it so much is it's not just for the seasoned pro sound designer. It's definitely for those guys, but it's also for people that are just really not that great at sound design because there are so many ways that you can drag and drop your own samples or that you can tweak the current presets to create your own unique sounds, textures, atmospheres, pads, you name it, um, in just a matter of minutes. It is super, super intuitive and super, super cool. We're going to go ahead and play through some of the presets to kick it off, but then I actually want to get into what I think is really the fun stuff, and that's creating your own sounds. So we'll grab a sample or two and actually create some of our own sounds to really show you the depth of what Novum's doing under the hood. So let's just go ahead and start off with the hamburger menu. You can see that you can go down to the basics here. That's where your presets are at. You can see that they're broken into category, but then in addition, there are some artists who have contributed presets to Novum as well. So let's just start out with some of the pads. I think this is really pads, atmospheres, drones. That's really what some of the strong suit of Novum, but it's definitely not just for that. So let's start out with airy strings. introduce some mod will. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, the the thing that's going on here is, of course, granular synthesis. And for those of you who are not familiar with granular synthesis, you know, sometimes that can scare a lot of folks and think, oh my gosh, this sounds so complicated. It's really not. Granular synthesis is essentially taking a sample, whatever sample you have, and it's breaking that sample into little grains, little pieces. And what granular synthesis essentially allows you to do, it allows you to control how small those pieces are or how large those pieces are. And if you want to play multiple pieces, and if you want to do that at the front of the sample or the middle of the sample or the end of the sample, or if you want to mix that up and randomize it, um, you can see that as I play, you'll see a bunch of dots showing up on the interface here on the waveform. Those are each representative of a grain. So in this case, you can see that the grains are, you know, rather large. Um, they're rather dense and they're jittering. This position jitter is letting you know that's why you're seeing it run all across the sample is because it's jittering across the entire sample. Okay, simple enough. That's the concept, but it gets way, way deeper. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump to another few presets here. Here's another pad for you.
let's go ahead and jump to another preset. I don't want to get bogged down in the presets. There's 300 presets here. They're great. But again, we're just going to kind of hit some highlights because I really want to dive into the engine with you. Let's go to, how about evolving pad? Introduce the mod wheel. gorgeous. So essentially, here's what Novum's doing with this granular synthesis. And one of the things that makes it so unique, Novum has found in Novum, they found a way that the sound designer who created this has found a way to break a single sample into six distinct parts. So you can see as I drag this, that there's actually six parts here, and that's what these are representative of. So each of these are the samples themselves that you can power on or off, but then there's an envelope for each one as well. So for instance, I can turn each of these off. Actually, let's, you know what? Let's go to, let me go to a fuller pad so that you could hear, or, or maybe even a drone. I don't know what that might be, but let's just find one. Let's see here. Let's put it back together. Okay, that's a good place to start. So let's turn these off. And we're just going to listen to one at a time. So here's the first one that Novum has broken this into. And then here's the second. Each time here, I'm playing the exact same keys so you can hear the difference. Okay. Finally, okay, so here's what's so cool. These samples, each of these samples that are being deconstructed, so it's a single sample, it's just one sample that's being deconstructed into six different parts. But what happens when that's done within the plugin is you then have control over each individual layer. So you can change the grain size, you can change the density, you can go and each one of these has a separate envelope. So you can see the envelope is completely different. I can go to the envelope and I can redraw my envelope. So for instance, let's say I wanted to take the second layer. I can say, okay, we're gonna go up here and then we're gonna kind of fade out. And you can see it will do exactly that. So now, that part will be more pronounced at the front end of the sound and then we'll begin to fade out. You can control the loop points. You can control the start point. Um, you've got this really, really cool thing that you can actually synthify something. So, you know, obviously you have a filter here with your frequency and your resonance, but you have the synthify function, which is essentially the opposite of the filter. The developer calls it an anti-filter. So if you think of it like this, a filter is removing harmonics. So the synthify function is actually adding harmonics. So it's doing the very opposite. So I'm gonna turn that on. Let's play the sample one more time first. Okay, now let's turn the synthify function on. So it's almost operating as a distortion, adding those harmonics in, but you do have distortion and dirt as well. So it is different. You can control the pitch of it, the, you know, everything. Um, you've got your ADSR envelope that you can control either globally 
or like I say, you have an envelope for each one of these samples. And then the, the, the flower here is just so cool. You can actually change the shades of the color to make it sound a little different, to make it sound more organic or more um, synthetic and, you know, just completely mix it up. Each of these controls by default are linked, but you can unlink them. You can sync it with your DAW. <laughs> the, you can add a ton of modulation options. So let's say that you want to change the size of the grains for everything. So it's all linked together. I can actually go up here and I can say, okay, I want my mod wheel. Let me go back. So I'm going to hit the size here and I'm going to say, I want my mod wheel to control the size of the grains. So I'm going to hit, believe it. Yeah, there it is. You have to click it right there. And then I'm going to turn the mod wheel up and you'll see, I'm going to go ahead and turn this down a little bit and I will change the size of the grains as I introduce the mod wheel. I mean, is that cool or what? You can see the possibilities here. So if you don't want to do it with the mod wheel, maybe you want to do it with an LFO. So you can you can control this completely with the LFO. So let's say I want to do the both the size with an LFO, and maybe I want to do the density with an LFO. Then I can hold this down, and instead of the mod wheel, It's being controlled by an LFO. Insanely cool. I mean, just so, so cool. And again, you can edit each one of these layers. Now, one of the things I love about this as well is let's say that we like, we like what we've got going on here. Maybe we like these samples, but maybe we want to change everything but the samples and let's say the envelope. You can lock the samples in the envelope and then change the preset the samples in the envelope will remain the same, but everything else will change. The envelope, the effects, everything changes. The density, the size of the grains, all of that. So let's play this one now with the same samples. I mean, crazy, right? Let's go to another one. And maybe we want to go, I don't know, let's go to a lead sound and maybe we'll go to this anticipation. <laughs> crazy, crazy stuff. Okay, let's clear this one out and let's do, go back to the presets and then we're going to design some of our own sounds. Okay, let's go to this orbit section. I really like this. Lovely, lovely. Airy string orbits. So, so cool. And again, all of that is one sample that's automatically being broken into six different layers. So cool. How about, um, let's go to, let's try B Dirty Orbits. So cool. OK, 
Okay, let's go to the acoustic area. And there's all sorts of things. There's flute samples in here, pad samples, just tons of stuff. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Now, what if we don't like that sample? But maybe we like the envelopes. We can actually grab, we can grab something else. So like, let's say we want this Neptune. I'm going to grab this Neptune and I'm going to drop it here. And it's actually going to keep all of the settings for the flute phrase, but it's going to do it with the Neptune samples. Or if you want to change it again, you can find another one. Maybe I want this string theory pad. Again, keeping the same samples, or excuse me, keeping the same settings, but with new samples. Now you could do something really cool with that. Let's go to the effects area and let's put some... Let's put some clouds on there. Let's go to this preset. We'll put eternity on here. I'm going to take the wet and the size down just a little. Let's see what that does. And again, all of that, same settings, different samples. Now, what happens if I keep the samples, but so I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock the samples down, but now I'm gonna change the envelopes. I can actually grab individual envelopes from one of the six layers of any of the given samples and make that control any of the other samples. So for instance, let's say I wanna go over here. I'm gonna drop that in. So you can see here, it's changing that envelope shape. But yet maintaining, oh, what am I doing wrong? Let's see. I might've messed that up, but the idea is you can actually change out the envelopes and change out the layers. You can lock one down, lock the other down. You can keep the same settings, change your samples, keep the same samples, change your settings. I mean, it's just crazy, crazy what you can do with this thing. Okay, let's go to some bases. Let's try this brass base. Now that's some deep, dirty stuff right there. How about FM nervous space? Crazy. <laughs> okay, lead bass synth. Okay, let's go ahead and jump down to, we've went through the drones. Let's go through some leads. Here's a Euro dance lead. So you can see the mod wheel in this instance. What is that controlling? I'm not exactly sure. Let's see, I'm going to move it as I move things around. Oh, okay, it's changing the size of the greens here. Okay, that's one of the things. Super, super cool. And again, 
as I noted at the intro of the video, it's actually, this is fully MP MPE compatible. So if you have a Rolly C board, if you have, you know, any of the MP MPE controllers, you can actually make any of these sounds, you know, capable of working with MPE. So you've got pressure, slide, you know, you've got glide, you've got all of the different things, lift, anything you need to create your own MPE sounds as well. So tons and tons of stuff going on here. And again, these presets are really just scratching the surface. I mean, we're we're not even <laughs> we're barely touching what you can do with this thing. And you've got all sorts of different um, artist presets as well. I'm a big fan of Data Broth. I like watching his videos a lot. So let's try some of his sounds. That's really cool. If you like it, just favorite it. Okay, carpentry. Let's see what that one's about. Really cool. Okay, let's try some of this artist. Let's try the Salanders. I mean, I love just the artistic, um, I, I just love that so much love was put into this user interface. It's just so beautiful. I just love the way it looks. It's so pretty. It just makes you want to play with it. I love this little wheel here um, This that, that affects the sound. It's just so, so cool. Okay, let's go ahead and make our own sound. So to start with, I just want to do a couple of different ones. I'm just going to grab an atmosphere that we'll start with and see where, see where we end up. So let's just drag this right in. Novum goes ahead and recognizes it. It takes this sample, pulls it into six different layers. So here's what this sample sounds like um, raw. So really nice atmosphere, very good atmosphere. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's take these pieces apart and let's begin to play around with what we've got. So let's listen to each part first. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the link so that I'm not controlling every single one of the layers at the same time. We're gonna make all of these unique. So let's go to the envelope, same thing. I'm gonna take all of these apart and let's go ahead and redraw the envelope for this one. Mm -hmm. 
That's already changed it. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. And then I can change the loop point. So let's say I want it to loop around this section. It'll just keep looping there over and over again. And let's say that I want to change the size. Okay. And then let's put some put some clouds on that. I'm going to go ahead and turn it down a little bit. Okay, that all looks good. Okay, so now let's turn that one off. Let's go to the next layer. Okay, I know these are really quiet for you. I'm sure they are because we're breaking this apart into six different pieces. But let's go ahead and change the envelope on that one. Let's turn it essentially up some. Maybe like this again, change my loop point and let's say that we want it to loop maybe around this area and I'm going to change the size of that a little bit. Turn the gain on that one down just a little bit. Now let's go to the next layer and let's go to the envelope on it. And maybe we want it to go on up. Okay. We've got those clouds going on, so that's good. Let's synthify this one. And we're going to take it down an octave. So we'll take it minus 12. There we go. Okay, here's what we've got so far. Don't know if it's going to be good or not, but let's give it a try. Something totally weird and bizarre, right? Okay, so let's grab one of these. And let's see what we've got here. Let's go up and then we'll go like that. Okay. Let's take this one and let's maybe go down here. See what we get. Okay. That might be a little drastic. Let's try maybe this. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. So let's take this and and let's actually, you know what? Let's make it rhythmic. That's pretty cool. And we're going to sync it. Nope, we won't sync it. We'll just do it like that. Okay. And I'm going to turn the gain on that one up some. And let's just go to the next layer. Again, I'm, gonna, I'm just really increasing the envelope just for the purpose of the video so that you can really hear each layer. Because otherwise, sometimes it can be difficult to hear the layer. Okay, let's make it cloudy. I love these presets, how it just automatically gives you some presets to play with for the grain settings. Really cool. Okay, and let's finally go to this one. I'm going to put the start point on that much earlier. So let's, let's see. Let's take the start point over here. Oops, put the loop point. Let's take the start point. Here we go. And I want to put that one as a, maybe a sporadic long. Okay. 
turn that one up somewhat, and then let's... Oh yeah, very different. Okay, I know this has taken a while, but let's see what our finished product is. Again, you just have to keep playing and tweaking and having fun with it. I'm kind of rushing through it for the purposes of the video just to show you what it's all about. Here we go. Crazy, crazy, crazy. That's a wild sound indeed. Okay, let's put some, let's put some black hole on it. Maybe take that down just a hair. a really cool drone suddenly you could tweak that play around with it you'd have something totally different now here's what's fun we just created all that so let's lock these down and now let's go back to the preset browser and we're just going to grab some presets and it's going to keep our sample for us but it's going to change the settings I mean, is that cool or what? So freaking cool. Okay, let's go to let's see what this kazoo pad is like with the same samples. Really, really cool. Okay. How about, let's do one more. Let's try one of these orbits. How about this pulsing harm choir? We'll introduce some mod wheel. And again, it's using my the samples that we does the, the samples that we chose, and then it's also using the envelopes that we designed. And what's really cool, if you just want to change out just one of these samples, guess what? You can totally do that. So I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to say, you know what? Let's do this one instead. I mean, the possibilities, friends, are just crazy limitless. Okay, let's design one more sound just for fun. I'm going to initialize this again. This time, we're going to we're going to grab a drum loop, just a standard drum loop. Just something kind of just something kind of techno, right? Okay, now let's just kind of begin to deconstruct this. But instead, you know what, this time, instead of going deep like we did last time, let's just lock this down and let's see if we can turn this sound into some sort of pad. So we're gonna go over to the pads and let's try this uh, stringy pad. I mean, is that just freaking cool or what? Oh my goodness. We just turned a drum loop into a super cool pad. How about this Oort cloud? Okay, that one's pretty wild. <laughs> Let's try a drone. How about this uh, clockwork bugs? So weird, man. You can just do some crazy stuff. All right, let's try another pad. How about airy strings? I 
I mean, is that just cool or what? And you did all that from a drum loop. We didn't have to tweak any of the layers. We didn't change any of the settings. We simply locked it down and changed what was happening in the preset. That's it. So if we wanted to unlock the envelope, maybe we like the samples, but we want to get rid of that envelope. We can actually go and do the exact same thing. Let's go to the pads. Let's go to this Arctic dirt pad. And now you see the envelope completely changed, right? So I'm going to turn all of these back on. something totally, totally, totally different. And again, if we want to change out the sound again, we've changed it out once again. And you can see the envelope is completely different now. That's still our same samples though. Or once again, I mean, the possibilities here are just crazy. You can just do so, so, so much with this. You know what? Just for fun, just for fun. Let me see if I can find just a quick, I don't know, maybe a vocal sample. Let's see if we can find a vocal sample. And this might be something totally, totally off the wall, right? But that's what experimentation is all about. So let's give it a whirl. So I'm going to go in and look for a vocal sample in my library. And I don't know. I'm just going to pull up a one shot. And I'm just going to grab something that looks like maybe it would be good. Who knows? I'm not sure if this will be good or not. We're going to drag it in and we'll find out together. So here's what the original sample sounds like when it's completely all to itself. Just a simple choir one shot, okay? Novum just broke it into 12 samples. So we're gonna lock the envelope down and we're gonna lock the samples down again. And let's go back to the pads and let's grab this piano pad and see what we have. Or let's go to maybe a plucky pad. Something completely different. That came from that crazy choir sample. How about this pad, Rezo pad? How cool is that? You could definitely use that atmosphere in something, right? Friends, this is an amazing plugin. I've, I'm not even coming close to doing this thing justice because it takes you playing with it, experimenting with it, having fun with it but you can create just some crazy fun sounds with this. I've even taken, taken my kids and recorded my kids saying crazy things and played it through here and had fun with that with my kids. I mean, this is just such a cool sound design plugin. I've got to say, this is one of my favorite synth plugins I've come across in a long time. I feel like I barely scratched the surface of the possibilities of Novum because it is just so, so deep. Simple to really get into, simple to create your own sounds, but super, super deep for even the most seasoned of sound designers. The modulation options are just crazy. I mean, you can see you've got all the MPE stuff, plus you can do ADSR, LFO, you can do a step sequencer, 
um, you know, which I didn't even go over or something like that. You can actually create your step sequencer in here. I mean, this thing is just crazy. And the fact that it takes all of your samples and divides them into six distinct layers means that you could take something like a drum sample and remove the hi-hat from it. I mean, this thing is just really cool. One of the things I didn't mention that I also love about this is it maintains the, um, the speed of the sample. So it's, you know, when you're playing it, instead of you playing up high and it going fast and playing down low and it moving slow like it does on a normal sample, it actually maintains the speed of the sample when you import it. So anyway, I'm so impressed. I could go on and on about Novum, but I definitely think you should check this one out if you're into sound design at all. And if you like granular plugins, this has got to be the coolest granular plugin I've played with yet. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for checking out Novum with me today. So what do you think? Are you impressed with Novum's sound shaping capabilities? What do you think of the user interface? Comment below and let us know your thoughts. Please like the video and share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure to check out samplelibraryreview.com for more news and reviews and to stay in the know about weekly sales via our weekly deal compressor.